Later this month, the Kennedy Space Center in Florida will be commemorating the 40th anniversary of the launch of the Apollo 16 mission to the moon. It was an 11-day mission that landed two men on the lunar surface. One of those men is in the Black Hills to recount an experience shared by only 12 people in the world. Brendan Medina sat down with the former astronaut today for the story. From the moment we strapped in, we were ready to go. and. Uh, your attitude is don't abort, don't abort. Please hold together. Don't let anything happen so that we don't get to complete this mission. And sure enough, uh, so nothing was so overwhelming that it uh, prevented us landing and completing our mission. Apollo 16 was a mission which required Charlie Duke and two other astronauts to endure two years of intense training before liftoff in April of 1972. Well, we were the first... Uh, uh, mission to uh, explore and sample the uh, lunar highland rocks. Uh, it was, uh, we were sort of the mountains of the moon mission. As the spacecraft containing the three crew members made the four-day trip to enter lunar orbit, Duke recalls the first time he saw the tiny blue marble that was Earth from his distant vantage point. Uh, it was just uh, suspended there and nothing, and, and uh, my first impression was, man, that's really beautiful, but we're a long way from home. You get the impression that Earth is a long way away from the lunar, uh, from lunar orbit. And in that stage, that was the first time in the mission he was able to see his destination. At 7,000 feet above the moon, uh, it, the vehicle makes a maneuver so you can see the moon for the very first time. And we recognized our landing spot. They had us targeted almost directly on, and so we made a few maneuvers. and. Uh, landed successfully. Duke says it was an entirely unrealistic feeling which came over him as the door from the lunar module opened, making him the tenth man ever to set foot on the moon's surface. Wow! Oh, man! Oh, Ron, finally here, Houston. Fantastic! We're finally here. Uh, we trained for two years. We were six hours late behind landing, and and now we're finally on the moon, and I was so excited. And uh, the beauty of it, and the solitude of it, and the, uh, and the fact that nobody had ever been here before. You know, all those thoughts just racing through your mind. It's uh, like a, I was basically more like a little kid at Christmas, I guess, than a well-trained astronaut at that point. He says all but one of the goals of the mission were completed successfully, including the trip back home. And he says the three were greeted as heroes when they made it back to Earth. And by recounting his story, now he hopes it will inspire young people and other aspiring astronauts around the world. For Black Hills Fox, I'm Brenna Medina. Wow, you could even recognize his voice in that old footage from NASA.